a lot of exuberance in the beginning and now life's choices are kind of catching up with you. <laughs> Sweet friend, welcome back to the Moon Shadow Garden and welcome to the pack. As you may remember, last week I reviewed the Sephiroth Tarot game and this week, as promised, um, Georg from Cause of Creations was so kind to drop by and explain to us how to play the cooperation mode, the coop mode in Sephiroth, the Tarot game. So what happened was that a friend of ours, uh, Roberto, came by and he played a round of Lover's Discord with me. Goes to show that you can still play that game mode even if you're not lovers, if you're just people who kind of really like each other. I just want to jump right in. Here's me giving it to Georg. Please explain the game. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, good morning, good night, whatever time it is in your time zone. We are here playing a round of Lover's Discourse, a game mode of Sephiroth. These are two non-lovers, but friends nevertheless, and they will try to figure out what is at stake between them with this wonderful cooperative divination board game, Sephiroth. My name is Georg Hochmeier and I am one of the designers of the game and I'm very happy today with these lovely people to test the game. In the left corner we have... Natalie! In the right corner we have... Roberto. And let's get started. Both of them are new to the game, so are you, dear audience. So I'm just going to explain it slowly. We'll just start with like casually dealing cards. Um, three to both sides and you can actually show what cards you have it is not very very um, uh, secret you actually have to hold them in your hand uh, because this will be the part where you lay down your cards I see we have uh, several yes there's a major arcana uh, and two minor. two minor and there's three minor this is very good a very modest uh, beginning. Um, the core mechanic is a sort of a sorting between major and minor arcana, and we're going to start this quite slowly. The aim of the game is to uh, fill the board with a major arcana, according to the mechanic, and then resolve them. And let's see how that can be done. So I'm going to go uh, very modern, not ladies first, but person first. So you have now another card which means you have to lay down one of your cards starting in the upper left corner. So you're going to make this rows of three. So just lay down one card. And right now it doesn't really matter. You could lay down any of them, actually. Just lay down one of them. Just here. Here, yeah, exactly. Okay. So in, up in this corner, and then you're going to go one, two, three, and then the next one, and then the next one. Uh, the aim is, uh, essentially, if you have a... a um, combination of uh, two or more cards that form 10, 20 or 30. You remove them and you put them onto the board where you should match a so-called major arcana. And those you can just place them on the board when you draw them, but you have none of them. You have one. So, and now you have another one. Ooh. So now you can choose. And you could even keep those in your hands mm -hmm. and uh, or and pl placed on a minor arcana, but I highly recommend placing down a major arcana I instead. would say we go with the strength card. Very good. Okay, and I have to start somewhere below yes, here. Yes, you start here. Okay. Um, we These rows are essentially your playing field, the so-called star field. And uh, these rows also mean different aspects of your connection. It's body, mind and soul. And these are essentially the defining effects. So strength in the soul I go for that. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's, a, that's, a, that's a good that's start, I'd say. Uh, for those of you who are wondering now why these cards look so uh, blunt, uh, these are um, so-called dummy cards. Some of the cards of the decks are finished. Obviously, that is not the final design. <laughs> Don't you worry. And here you go, sir. Here's another so, card. So, so. More minor arcana. Lots of cups. 
Uh, on your hand, I suggest trying to not form a combination just yet because you have no major arcana, so you need to avoid uh, having a combination. This is your job until the major arcana obviously okay. arrive. Okay, but so it doesn't matter right now. Right? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is a, a safe combination of 12. Uh, you, on the other hand, you can just... Oh, wow. Another 10. Another 10. Yeah, this is not too undangerous. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe... We well, could already... I could go for, like, this. Put yeah. down the... Or yeah. is it... Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe move towards your partner. Okay. So I would put down the lovers first. Yeah, lovers in the soul. That's that's a very friendly way to start things. <laughs> it the thing is also if you are connected uh, through any form of diagonal or straight or however a neighbor or in position, then you can actually put your own cards into the card of your partner. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. and the moment you're still separated, you know you're actually fighting for yourself. It's a very optimistic worldview on relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Another, this time, illustrated minor arcana. And yeah, it's, you still are on the same task of trying to not form a combination. And yes, so this is, that's good. Very good. Uh, oh my God, look at you. <laughs> oh, geez. So... The thing is, since I have two tens already, I cannot put them down here. You can put one down, but then you should not put another one down because then I have a two. Then I have a combination. Then you have a combination. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be a little bit careful with the uh, with like, and since your uh, partner in card crime here has no major arcana yet, maybe you kind of move even more towards him. Mm -hmm. So it, it would be okay if I place something in the middle? This is... Do I... You could, but uh, there is there is a little bit of a, a like a thing. The middle has um, a special rule because in the middle a combination of a moon and sun forms a very strong bond that allows you to put an enormous amount of cards inside. Okay. So, so I would not put anything else there if I were clever. Can yes. I start to the left you and right then? You can put it here, here, here. So you have these five okay. essentially at your okay. disposal right now. You could even flank it. So I don't have to start at the first point here. I could start here as well? Exactly. exactly. Okay. So this is hmm, both an option. Since I know the tarot, I'm kind of like thinking deeply where can I put, where do I want the Empress? Do I want it <laughs> in the body or do I want it in this? I think it's more a bodily thing for me. Let's put it here. This okay. is a strong combination. Very good. Very well played. Here you go. Oh my god, this is a... Okay. The Hanged Man. Your first major. And so what a major kind of... Yeah, yeah, just Hanged Man in the Soul. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Hanged Man in the Soul is a, is a powerful card. Um, it's a card of trials and tribulations and inner growth as well. So Okay. Also standing up that. against criticism. Yeah, so good choice, I'd say. He, oh my god, look at this. Judgment! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I do have a showdown card. You have a lot of lot of major arcana yeah. on your side already. Very, very unusual, I think. Hmm. Oh, it's split here. Yeah, let's uh Gut feeling. Let's just hope that here you go. Ten. Yeah, this is uh this is a curious because uh, you have all these major arcana and a very tricky hand with minor arcana and here you have a i would say a lot of options with major with minor arcana but not too much progress so mm -hmm. two very very different concepts yeah. um, in life <laughs> i don't know if that translates into your real relationship mm -hmm. but everything we do here is of course a, a, like a work of fiction uh, solely solely <laughs> It's just storytelling, as yeah. I keep on saying, to people who are critical of tarot. But then again, you know, it's just storytelling. Mm. I would keep the ten in the hand, or yeah, the ten is the ten is a bit of a dangerous card. I would not necessarily put it down. So let's put the six down. But I can't mm -hmm. just simply take 
the ten and put it onto. Uh, just the one two. like uh, just on starting. I would always like put it uh, start in one direction. So did you start here or here? I started there. Okay, so you put it here, and then because this can get four or five deep, so it's always good to overlay okay, it. Okay, I see, I see. Otherwise, you might run out of cards. So here we have thirteen. Nothing happens. And again, you know, this combination uh, is going this way and this, this way, way. Oh. so this is okay. quite important. Queen of Swords, now you have, oh my god, this is... Okay, another 10 actually. Yeah, let me, let, maybe you have enough cards now on the devil, you should start laying down 10s. Okay, but I can put 10s from the hand onto the board? No, 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 no. you always have here? to, you have to I lay have to put one them. by okay. one, you lay them down, so... Hmm, so I have... To I could start like putting down tens now. Yes, it's not a bad idea to have different options in here. Oh no, no, just 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 one at a time. Just one at a time. Okay. It's okay. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> You're like more. Oh my tens! Here you go. Okay. So another six. And now you have to become a little bit strategic already, you know, like... Uh, it goes like this and this, you said. Because those are the next, the next two moves, like a card here and a card here. Yeah. So uh, don't maneuver yourself in a position where the next move would essentially create nothing, but on the next move you would be forced to, in, to do something that would create. Because you're in a still very volatile uh, position here with your soul-hanged man. This is, this is a very typical thing I've seen in this coup play a couple of times. One person is exuberant and then the other person has like stuck with one card and they're building things up. And for reasons I don't understand, it's always like a very... So the hermit and the hanged man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Worked up in very focused cards that are doing their thing. So... So would put the lowest down, is it right? Um... I mean, you don't have so many options. I don't. Anyway, no. Yeah, I would maybe, in your case, use the nine. The nine? Yeah. Why that? Because here it creates 14, okay. and then on this axis, it will not result in... Like 20. 20. 20, 20 yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's a safe one. If you would have put down a 10, for example... Okay. Yeah, so this should be okay for now. This is the thing, like, with these kind of combinations... Uh, if you play it right, you know, you can really calculate on in which in which round you will have to use which card in order to trigger particular things. In the cooperative mode and in the solitaire, this is just to survive in order to build together. In the competitive mode, in the uh, warring planets, which is played on the same field, you're actually devising these combinations on purpose. Mm -hmm. So you have like a suddenly you have like a seven cards in your hand that you can like unleash mm -hmm. and then you can basically create attack waves with these combinations. Uh, okay. So this is a very strategic thing, but we're just well. playing the friendly version. <laughs> no, Here you go, another crazy major arcana. Uh, Stop it. Uh, okay, wait a second. Mm. Exuberant. I'll, I'll put it here. No. Nope. Uh, sorry, no, no, do it, do it, do it. I would have put it in here because then it would have. Oh, I can that. already go. To yes, 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 yes. Oh, can, can, well yeah. then, hey. Yeah, you, you can. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I can use that later, you said. Right? The moment you place a card here or here, I mean, it's it's, you are playing some things together. So okay, then it becomes much easier. Here you go. This is a, another tenor card. This is a Knight of Swords, an illustrated one, though. Like. So, just for curiosity. Mm -hmm. If I start out, could I already in the beginning start putting cards on his side, or nope, do I have you, to? No, this is always start. This is always your starting okay. point, and from there you can actually go around, mm -hmm. uh, and you can choose these diagonals. Oh, because mm -hmm. I'm already connected here somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. It it's here, 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 and mm -hmm. then you can of course move in either Got direction. It. Got it. It's a little bit less. Uh, well, the Oroboro kind of moves in that direction, but it's. Um, yeah, so this is this is this counts as neighboring mm. in that kind of regard. Gotcha. Yeah, um, you sure. should be. You could put on a ten now, and it would you, you would still be on the safe side. It's maybe twenty five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Twenty five, eleven. So when we have the next card, it's the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Here you go, and that's another ten. Yeah, but you have. The world, have, okay. <laughs> literally on the table, so you have so much. So do I have to put it up from here? Yeah, you, you place a yeah. card down. Okay. 
Uh, and then you have your combination, and now you can take these two cards and you can place them. I could where resolve the judgment. You could resolve the judgment, and there is not really a lot that speaks against it. Okay. It's so I put it like this. So that means the judgment, metaphorically, allegorically, is already resolved before you have your. Before we even met. Exactly. So wow. this is already a resolved aspect. Not okay. many adults have that. Here you go, the Hierophant. Now you can make a connection. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You can also here. choose the Hierophant in the body. Interesting choice. Yeah, but uh, here's the fast. I oh, know I can put it here too. Yeah, then you're not connected. That I highly, I not, no, Then I would I would recommend like either one. here or here because everything else is a bit of a risk. Unless you have plans to be risky. <laughs> no, I have plans. Yeah. The Hierophant in the soul. This is actually also not a... Hankman. Not okay. a bad idea. This is a very particular combination. Yeah. A very, I would say, clerical and... Wise. Ascetic basis to <laughs> yeah. start existence. Here you go. Have a number six. Yes. Yeah. yeah just... We have reached now the meadows of mid-game. So I could... And you can just start playing along and uh, okay. start fulfilling cards. Things will get a little bit more tricky towards the end, but now we are uh, very, very unlikely to lose quickly. Um, here you go, sir. So that's the nine. Yes. Now you can actually start. Uh, I can put it down there. Yeah, no, you no, always start. start on, yes, you always start on the left. You go, or, or you can always start on the right, but you have to kind of stay consistent. Okay. okay. So what you want to do now, uh, both of you, is to see how do you get, especially cards like the smaller ones. Like, do, how could I get a six onto the table, or a five, or a two, or a even shittier an ace or a three? So how can you fulfill these a little bit more tricky ones? So for example, there is a five here and a nine here. Is there a six somewhere? Yeah, there? six is 20, but I cannot start there. So no, I you have, have to, to put, something put something here something and then on the next there. one, you can actually start I putting see, the I plan see, see. So into motion. This down here. Yes, wonderful. And now it's your turn. Oh, it's yeah. a four. It would be another combination, right? You could. You could. But then you have a six. That means you might be short one. Yeah. Lots of lots clever. of math. So this is actually like a secret learning game, you know, where I teach adults how to make uh, calculations. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nothing so esoteric. The, it's just like a secret adult education. So the question is, I'm still working on the rules. I have to make a combination of 10 or more. Yeah, like how do I get irregular cards onto the table if they don't have the, the value of 10 if they're below? Yeah, for example, um, this is a six. Mm -hmm. So it means you could now can create a combination of six and four. And then you place a six in here and a four. Oh, I can spread it then. Yes, oh. you can spread it. Okay, which w that's not stupid actually. Yeah, so and now, put and, and now you have to, but you have to see, you know, where it makes sense to put the other card. You know, if you mm -hmm. place it in in the five, you're creating a very dangerous situation because you need an ace to get. Oh, that going. yeah, which is really hard. Yep. So. Wait a sec. So this is the trickiness of it. You know, we have to see like what number can be matched where. Mm hmm. Jesus. I mean, I could go for it, or I just oh, let's put down. Let's put down a three. The likeliness that I put down an ace is very unlikely. Yes. Here you go. Oh, temperance. Yeah, very good. Major Arcana. You can place it. Um, it's, it's an allegorical choice, essentially, what you're doing right now. So it's not so much. I start here. Temperance <laughs> in the mind. It's still very... <laughs> very cool. <laughs> here you go, an ace. Can I just say the likeliness that I get an ace now is very small? <laughs> wow, with you, you, this is a very good combination. You have to play the ace now for okay. like a, a, num a number of reasons. Okay, so, so I now can ten. start... Yes. Spreading. So I could resolve the lovers. You could resolve the lovers, precisely so. Which is so. what I'm going to 
do. Very good. Yeah. So then I have an ace and a three. I could also resolve the Empress. Mm -hmm. You should. Okay. You should. You should very much resolve the Empress because it's not very often that you get a three. And then I have an. Do I have to put down or can I just leave? No, 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 no. no, no. This needs. This, it, this, this needs to go. Okay. If, if I resolve something, I have to put it on. Yeah. This is the, when you once you create this combination, it has to go onto the okay. board. Just. And this is the game over condition. If we couldn't have uh, find a place for this right now, because okay. uh, there is no place for it, it would be game over. Okay. Um, Interesting. Okay. The gotcha. solitaire mode has so-called grace fields. You know when you put overflowing charts, but. Relationships, no, very little grace, as we all know. You know, yeah. it's just <laughs> okay. So it would be very intelligent to put it somewhere where there's just one more than a ten, because then I could resolve it with a ten combination. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, so I'll put it good. on the strength. Strength, the world, both works, and essentially for you, it doesn't make a lot of difference because you can access all the cards now. You yeah. have this connection; mm -hmm. it's not a problem. Here you go, a three. Uh, three. So I wanted um, fifteen here and uh, twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Do I want that? There is several reasons why this might not be a bad idea. Yeah. I want that. So I can put the five here, right? Yeah, this is you. You have a couple of choices now. If if you take these cards out now, yeah. um, there is a couple of combinations. For example, you have a, a 14 where you meet the temperance uh, straight right. away. Yeah. This is not a bad idea to do that. Or you could put the, um, the five uh, by itself, mm -hmm. which is also fine. Uh, then you just have to like, essentially find a place for the um, card somewhere else. So this is... There's a couple of variations that you can play now. This depends a little bit on what, what other cards you have. But uh, yeah, so this is... But given the fact, for example, that you don't have... There's no fives around. I would spread the cards out a little bit now and go for the five. This is a little bit of like a uh, not stupid strategy to like go always for the lower cards if they're available because the higher ones, you can always fade. Find, find a combination. Exactly, yeah. So I would go for the five now. Yes, yeah. that is something I would do. Okay. As your relationship counselor. <laughs> your mathematical uh, relationship <laughs> counselor. So on six and nine. Six and nine. Yeah, you have this is something you have to kind of essentially park now. Um it's a couple of options now, I guess. Maybe put the six into temperance, because there's another six here. Uh, no, the, the, excuse me, the six into the, the hanged hang man. Hand, yeah. yeah. And then the nine, you have... A, Doesn't really matter. Right? Yeah, these, in these twos, you have a couple of options, you know. Maybe put it into the world, so it's a little... Okay. Has more room to play. Yeah. Wiggle room. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to put it there. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a two. Two. So I can't... Wow. Well, doesn't really matter. It could Doesn't put really down yeah, a just, ten. We can. So I leave that like this. Yes, this is a, a very good situation that we're having right now. So what you want to do right now is, of course, not you start filling in the gaps in our the gaps. So okay. first you go middle, yeah. middle, and then again ah, middle, and then again. I see. It's that a new row? Yeah, exactly. Okay, king of wands. King of wands. That's a big one. No, 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 no. It's, no. it's, it's, a, it's a, that's a face card. So this, this goes here, essentially. Okay. Uh, you can very easily distinguish it that the major arcana all have, uh, um, what is this, Roman... Roman numbers. Roman numbers. Ah, okay. Yes. No. The Knight of Wands. Very good. An 18. And here you go. Here's your card. The mm. Queen of Wands. I do not want to put her down in life. No. Right. Um, so, yeah, maybe not. Nope. Maybe not. I'll put down a four. Why not? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's still cool, but you don't have infinite spaces. So right. you have to be a little bit cautious now um, on how to play these things. Oh. Hmm. 
So again, we go for the middle row because we always go for like the missing yeah. bit until we start fulfilling things. So it's funny, like now we are actually reaching like a little bit of scarcity in like <laughs> the minor the minor options. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we're not doing that great <laughs> anymore. Because we only have four cards and all of them are already a little bit um, bring their own challenges. And challenges. <laughs> On the other hand, you know, we're still like a few rounds away before things get catastrophic. So. Uh, thanks for the outlook. <laughs> <laughs> so I would put down the three, is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a safe one. Always works. Here you go. <laughs> I'm collecting tens here. Yeah, very. This is not like you have. You, you are essentially like one card away from catastrophe. Catastrophe. So hmm? a lot of exuberance in the beginning, and now life's choices are kind of yeah. catching up with you. Like, oh, no. why did I purchase so that I, car? I, yeah, I can't. I can't. I can only put down the two essentially right now. Oh, you if go I don't for, want to place it on the. We can, you know. This is always like you. You're waiting for the dam to burst, or you are creating like a um, controlled <laughs> destruction <laughs> slash explosion. Jesus Christ! What a nasty metaphor. And it is the reality. I think I have to actually, because I mean, I'm facing three tens here. Yeah. Three, no, this is the thing. Like, you, this is under control now, and you can place tens here, here, and here. Yeah. That's all right. You can resolve that one and then put some more into yeah, either let's of those. Yeah, go for that. I have exactly. to. I actually have exactly. to. So you take so. these two, and then you can. So I can actually resolve this one yeah. here. Because otherwise, you're facing a situation like, where you're. Boom, baby. Exactly, where there's um, no control. So this would be 19 then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's really like... yeah, I'm, I'm just eyeing with this one here. Yeah, this stays in the middle, so you want to stay left and then to the right and okay. then you start a sudden. But I had a 20 combination, so I'm just putting that oh. down. Yeah, this yeah, one this, 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 this stays. Here, here you go, Good. the high priestess. Not very useful, but uh, yeah. Put it here. Doubly unuseful, by the way, because you have a, you now you need two tools to resolve that. Um, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there haven't. This is a thing where you can go a little bit more pokerish, mm -hmm. thinking which card has been played already. Oh, and which still I can yeah, rain so man style. Okay. You can rain man it. I want to put it here. Yeah. So how about the tower? The Wheel of Fortune. The okay. Wheel of, the wheel of Fortune a, is a... a yeah, just, just put it down. It's a free 10, essentially. I'll put it here. Mm -hmm. This is also, if you want to be a little bit more into the whole reading part of it, uh, obviously, you know, like cards that face your way, that's like your contribution to the uh, uh, relationship. Okay. So this essentially works. Out. Here's this, like another face card for you. Uh, we can try something out now if you're up for like a little bit of a catastrophe. I always I'm a catastrophe. <laughs> I'm just I just have to see if it's a catastrophe we can survive. Uh, no, we cannot survive this catastrophe. Okay. Um, well, then, no. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Not gonna propose it. If you would play a uh, page with the page of swords now, you you'd have a, a combination of twenty. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are we are we are we oh already oh no oh no oh i'm so sorry but this is interesting you know like it's sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and now there's going to be a chain of events mm -hmm. and i'm sorry to say that that will in a catastrophic way end uh, your relationship <laughs> you can choose any card now to destroy it okay, essentially yeah, take the sword <laughs> the page of sword yeah the page of sword is a good card to, to end this so let's look at how the catastrophe unfolds okay. first of all king of wands and page of uh, swords form up one relationship and this is 20. now this might look harmless to you but it is not um okay <laughs> so you can actually put, put them wherever and uh yes so the only possible solutions would be the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance, right? Or the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is... The world is already too much. No. The world is already too, too full. You can place them in here. Essentially, you have no other option. There's no... 
Yeah, yeah, let's do it. There oh, is yeah, no the hangman is too much already. The hangman is too much already. Yes, yeah. page of swords and king of wands in temperance. And now look at this. Sometimes life just gives you melons, and the rule is that their card here must to slip up towards this position. Now this, unfortunately, because this yeah. yes, <laughs> unfortunately this creates like another cataclysm because it creates another combination of 7 and 3, which is 10, which is for yours to distribute. Uh, by the way, this would slip up as well, but uh, there is no there is combination no. here. Okay. And now you are actually um, kind of tasked with the uh, unfortunate... So what is it? What do we have? I, I forgot the numbers. Three. It, a three? Three and seven. Seven. So you could put it on... The three is easy, the seven is hard. The seven is not hard, the seven is impossible. The seven is what breaks your neck. No! Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant to be. Jesus. It wasn't meant to be. I am so sorry. So this is where you kind of say, okay, just put it down and then I'll see. Yeah, where. but what, what do I do? So you can I put the, the, three, the three you can play as well. The three you could even... No, no, there's a ace. Okay, but this is, this is, by the way, this is resolved. This so is resolved. Just oh, yeah. Call this, let's, let's look at the positive things. Yeah, this. one thing is resolved. Uh, the three can either go here or here. Uh, there is still yeah. space. Put it here, maybe, then the uh, temperance is almost resolved, so we can... But you need an ace. That, uh, uh, no, this is uh, 14. 14. Right. So goes here. Exactly. 13 out of 14, you know. It's almost. Almost. And now... We're... And now you're yeah. one short. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with that? <laughs> you, you actually... You, you, you forfeit it. So this is essentially the card that fails the game. Mm -hmm. the, the, the seven, seven of, of wands. wands. The seven of wands stands for... Jesus Christ. In this case, I would read it upside down, mm -hmm. which actually is unfulfillment. Unfulfill <laughs> it's unfulfillment. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it worked qu out quite interestingly, quite well. Um, it's been an interesting, very, very particular relationship between the two of you. Very strong on the monastic, kind of scholastic mystical and intellectual side on your side much more exuberant here a little here. pushy on my side a little bit pushy on your side lots of <laughs> big constructions <laughs> big plans and then the seven of wands essentially was the destroyed. one thing it was fate that destroyed everything i love when the game fails like that by the way yeah this is uh this is failure is is such a such an accomplishment in that game uh we can cheat a little bit and see what your next card would have been or your next card, so we can already look a little bit into the future. Of course you have the Hermit. Yeah, look at this. Like, even if we look a little bit further, uh, things might have not become too easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, still. Because Sun and Moon... Uh, Far away. ...might have eventually kind of helped you, but they were... Impossible. <laughs> they were like, Impossible. Where are they? Where are these cards? I have uh -huh, so many tens already. Where are these cards? <laughs> the sun and moon, the one thing, the one resolving principle that could save you. Where are they? Uh, last they cards. They're coming, actually. This is really like full sun and moon. Mm. There we oh, go. Okay. <laughs> so this is how far you were away from the... Uh, magical. From the, the magical moment so in the what middle. what happen? If you would have. Oh, these these are actually creating uh, well, they're powerful cards to sort of because they're eighteen and nineteen, so they are like yeah, a very okay. strong combination. But if you can, if you manage to have them together, um, they are eventually uh, forming something called the Sonnenfinsternis. As oh, uh, as uh, uh, eclipse. eclipse! Eclipse, yes, yeah, total eclipse of your heart. This yeah, is the first thing that comes yeah. to my mind. Always. <laughs> thank you, Bonnie Tyler. Always. Um, but actually, uh, yeah, it forms a combination. And by the way, this is this is quite pretty with this card that it actually is almost uh, like made to the plan. kind of yeah they are Fit together. blending into each other. Mm. Pretty pretty card, and they're forming fifty points in the middle, so you can do a lot of bullshit. And they're still like, it's almost like a you're creating, you know that 
when you have a relationship and it really works out, mm -hmm. that's essentially what sun and moon can create in the center of things. So they form a 50, so you can literally throw all the tens it, in there. It absorbs all the shit and you still uh, stay alive. Okay. Um, but you were, there was so really much, <laughs> so much tricky shit still before reaching that state. Be and you're, and you, you kind of a short on like a misunderstanding, kind of a shortcoming, uh, but it's all right. You did well, and it's a, a very particular uh, thing that, that formed here. I think this is, this is a curious story that uh, we have made here. Great. Yeah, I'd say uh, that's well, thank it. You. Thanks for playing the game of life, uh, also known as a lover's discourse, or um, people who like each other discourse in that case. Uh, it's been a wonderful game, and uh, yeah, one, maybe one day we play against each other. Ooh. with the warring planets <laughs> wonderful so this has been the playthrough it was an interesting round because if you're into the tarot and as i've said if it is a kind of secret reading so to say it's really interesting the things that came out were such a good description of our personality types and the way we act in the world that it's been tremendous. I had to smile. Like you will see me in the game look upwards or even, you know, like be like, because <laughs> it was so clear to me that Roberto has so many ideas. He, he's a writer, he writes stories. He has so many aces up his sleeve. While I was playing, I, I had all the major arcana to drop on the board. I have all this creative energy, but I tend to give myself to the world and not have any minor arcana on the side to play and resolve things so it's it's been really interesting to see how that really captured our essence within the game super interesting i hope you got a feeling of how the game mechanics work it's a little bit of calculus not too hard also it's a little bit like playing chess so you if if you play a few rounds of that game i'm pretty sure you're getting right into more strategic kind of ways of moving through the game especially if you're moving uh warring planets which is the competitive game mode and as i've said it's been truly interesting to view that from the tarot kind of perspective with the hanged man and the hero fan on his side also if you look at where the body placements, where the mind placements and where the spirit placements are and where the points were where we actually connected. So yeah, tremendous, tremendously good gameplay if you are into the tarot and if you want to interpret that as a reading. It's crazy how accurate. The Kickstarter is still running till the end of the month. So if you want to back this game, if you want to get your own card game, even if you just want to get the Tarot deck without the game, just for the beauty of the cards, I will leave you the link in the description below. Also, if you want to see me review this exclusive box here, um, that link will be up here. So you can look at that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We will talk very soon. Bye-bye.